Hi, my name is Gage, and today I'm going to be showing you an install on the Deja Vu QD2. Uh, this terminal has a counterpart, which is the QD4. It looks almost exactly the same here, except it doesn't have cords, and it's a wireless terminal. So this terminal here has this pin pad that I connected to it. Uh, first, let me show you how to run a cell. So what you're going to do uh, is you'll see this screen. You'll click on the screen, and you'll see all these options here. Uh, for that re return, that'll be like a refund, which will be after the batch, or a void will be before a batch. Um, and then if we click sell, we can put in an amount, click OK. It'll give you a total amount that you can confirm, and then it'll send it over to the pin pad. From there, you can run the sell, and then you can also sign on this machine. And then on there, uh, if we don't want to do that, we'll just cancel that. To go uh, back, we can see the void and return auth, balance, and ticket. We're going to click these three lines here, and it's going to give you the menu. Uh, this is more used whenever we are here. Uh, so if we ever ask you to get to these settings, uh, you might just have a few things that you might need help with. The manager password on these is always 1234. Uh, and this is going to have like uh, your, your normal settings, your communication for uh, certain things. You can set a language. Uh, if you have a download, it's right there. Uh, we'll go ahead and click settings. Uh, the settings on here is the keyboard. Uh, if you want that to beep or not, uh, back here, and we'll go ahead and go back. Uh, we have that menu again. So if you click utility, that's going to pop you down to other settings. We also got settlement. This one's Settle Daily Batch or Batch Settings. So if you click that, that will allow you to uh, do that batch. If you want to view a report for the day without settling out that transaction, click Reports. You have that Daily Report or that Settlement Report. I'm sorry, Summary Report. And then uh, over here on Favorites, we have Settle Daily Batch again. Uh, you got Transaction Number. You can void a transaction from here. You can also reprint a receipt. Uh, and view a report or a summary. If we go back one more time, we'll go ahead and click the star. Uh, these have the options from over here. Um, so these have the same options. This is just your favorites menu. So you can go here and then click favorites and have the same options. Um, on this machine also, you can connect it to a pin pad, but it doesn't need to. Um, it, it can be run solely on here. If you click this button and in the bottom right, that will print out some paper for you if you need a little bit uh, spare. Uh, also, if you pull down from the top, what you can see is there's going to be a notifications tab like a Samsung phone. If you pull down again, it's going to have a, uh, the options for brightness, uh, any of the Bluetooth. Let me clean that screen. Um, we can change the brightness here. Uh, we can change Wi-Fi. Uh, Bluetooth. We'll go ahead and click the settings gear up here though. On Wi-Fi, uh, this will pop up all the different options. Uh, it's just like a normal phone. You got the Bluetooth uh, and then you do have your normal settings here. You can also change the date and time at the bottom under system. If we go back, uh, this, this is kind of a conclusion to this terminal. Again, the, uh, this is the QD2 with the pin pad. If you did want the QD4, which is the um, machine that has no cords, uh, you would just ask for that one. Uh, this is what the back looks like. Uh, again, I, I hope this video uh, gave you a better information on how to use this and some of the settings that are uh, within this terminal. Again, thank you for using Wholesale Payments, and I hope you have a great day.